Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I'm so excited for today's video. It has been a little while since I've done some serious damage in Primark, so I thought it was time. So I have a huge Primark haul for you guys today. I've got some fashion, some beauty, some home, not gonna lie, most of it's home, but I am gonna start off with the fashion and beauty bits just because I don't have that many and then we can get into the bulk of the home decor. So if you're more interested in the home stuff, just skip forward a few minutes and I'll meet you there. But yeah, I'm just gonna jump straight in with the fashion bits. So don't forget to subscribe before we get started and also leave today's video a thumbs up and let's just jump straight into it. First thing I picked up was this sweatshirt and I just love the color of it. It's very colourful for me but I thought it would be perfect for spring summer just paired with some shorts when it's still a bit chilly in the evening. I love like the pastel print with the Colorado writing on the front and I also love like the sort of muted down green that the whole jumper is. It's just so pretty and it's also got like a really nice sort of vintage picture on the front it's kind of like a crackled effect which i really like i picked it up a medium because i do like my jumpers to be a little bit oversized a bit slouchy and comfy so i got it in a medium and this was 11 pound but yeah i think this is going to be a perfect for a spring summer so next up i just got some basic strappy tops i love these i wear them all the time they're perfect for layering and obviously on their own in like the warmer months but they're like two pound fifty i think they were so absolute bargain i got 10 to 12 the other ones that i've got are like an eight and they're a little bit snug so i thought i would size up ready for summer but yeah i just love having the basic pieces in my wardrobe okay i know that it's only february i know that i'm getting a bit ahead of myself but primark did it to me you know they've got their summer stuff out already all of their swimwear's out so i had to do it i love this like emerald green color with the ribbon effect i think that's gonna make it look really flattering and just kind of hug me in all the right places i love like the deep v the back looks like this. These colours that will suit anybody because I do struggle picking swimwear that's actually going to suit me. But as soon as I saw this, I was like, yeah, having that. And I wanted to get it this early because we are going to Greece in September. And I knew if I waited until like August, September time, it'd be gone. Like it wouldn't still be there. So I thought I'd grab it. I got it in an eight and it's £12. So I love that. And then to go with that, I got this gorgeous beach cover up. It's just this really pretty lace. It's in like an off white cream color with like the tie at the front. I got this in a small and this was at 12 pounds. So yeah, really, really like that. They have a lot of nice swimwear, beachwear stuff in at the minute. And I know it's only February, but if you don't get there, it's gonna be gone. So. Definitely think ahead for the seasons and um, yeah, go and grab it because I just think that's so pretty. I then found myself in the pajama section. We'll start off with this and oh my God, guys, it is like buttery soft. I can't even explain it. I've never had pajamas this soft before. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got like those like ditzy floral effect. Is that what it's called? A ditzy floral? I don't know. Flowers. It's got flowers on it. There's a really cute detail at the front as well with the bow. And yeah, again, it's just so, so pretty. So I got this in a small and it was £9. I had to get these as well. I was oh and an hour in which one to get. So I just thought, you know what? They're both coming home. This is just as soft. It is a little bit thicker. And I just got the shorts and cami set. I don't really like wearing trousers to bed because they always end up like riding all the way up my leg and that's not very comfortable. So yeah, shorts and cami, just nice, simple, soft. Again, spring is literally around the corner. So I'm getting, I'm getting ready for spring. So Max is obsessed with underwear and socks. So every time I go to Primark, I have to stock up. I just got some simple trainer socks. These were three pounds, just different colors very basic and then I also got underwear I always get the packs just because it's so much cheaper these were four pound for a pack of five so I just got two of those so those are all the fashion -y bits that I've got and I do have a couple of beauty bits and I have no idea how this happened I ended up with two of them and I don't I don't even know how this happened but I got a cream contour 
I don't know if it's any good. I've never tried it before, so I'll let you know. But yeah, I do like using cream makeup products, so I thought I'd give it a go. But yeah, I don't know how I ended up with two, but you know, hopefully it's good. But then I did pick up a lipstick, and I know that I put it in my basket, and I don't have it. But I have two of these, so I really have no idea what happened there. I do have a lip liner in Daydream, just this really cute pink colour. I want to try and get my hands on all of the Charlotte Tilbury dupes, but obviously everyone's gone crazy for Primark makeup lately and there is nothing left. So I'm definitely going to be going back and keeping an eye out for the lip gloss, the lip liner and like the foundation that's supposed to be a dupe for NARS. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for that because I'll definitely be going back. And then I also got some little false nails. Um, I never get my nails done because I'm not actually allowed nails at work for with my job. So I never have anything done to them. But I thought these would be really nice in the spring, just that pop of colour and I don't have to spend like 20, 30 quid to get my nails done when I'm like off work for a few days just to get them removed again, like that's just, it's not going to happen is it? But these are £3, these were actually a bit pricier, they do have a lot of nails for like £1.30 but obviously I fell in love with these ones so yeah some nails okay so that is everything i got in the fashion and beauty section so i'm now moving on to my favorite part which is the home decor and oh my god guys i literally love everything i've got i've just got it all out surrounding me and i'm in love i mean honestly how pretty is this vase it's so pretty and it was literally 10 pound my other vase that i got downstairs is literally my favorite vase ever that was from primark for 10 pound as well and i've had that one now for a couple of years so it's really nice that they haven't put the prices up because i was expecting them to but i just love like the beigey color i love like the crackled effect on it it's just so so pretty and it goes perfectly with like my aesthetic that i'm building at the minute just the very neutral beige gold tones love this obviously you can't have too many vases so i picked up this one look how pretty it is i love again the beige color but then it goes down into this really gorgeous like bronze copper color at the bottom i just think that's absolutely stunning i think this one might be I might be keeping it in my dressing room just because it goes so well with all of the other colours. And this was only £6. Like, I love it so much. So, yeah, another vase. Yeah, I couldn't help myself, guys. Like, I really, when I see a vase, I have to get it. This was also only £6. And I'm actually surprised that I liked this so much because it's got the blue. But I just thought that would be really nice for spring. Just having that pop of colour, but it's not too in your face. And... Um, yeah, I really love that. Again, it goes with everything. It's going to look really nice styled, maybe with pampas or olive stems in it. might look really nice with the blue. Yeah, another vase because you can't have too many. I think at this point, everybody owns this. Like, I don't think there's a single person that doesn't. It was £4 and I was actually on my way out after like buying everything and I was kicking myself because I saw that they've also got mini versions of the same thing and i thought that'd be so cute styled together with like the other mini one underneath but i'll have to get that at a later date but i just love how this looks it's gonna look really nice on a shelf you can have it on a console table you can literally style them anywhere and because they're so neutral they go with any style so if i do end up wanting to add more colour it's still going to go with everything that I've got so yeah I really really like this. So the next thing I picked up were these wine glasses it was £6 for a set of four and I don't know if you can tell but it's got like a slight green hue to them I think they're really pretty and I like that they're sort of a rectangle shape they're not just sort of your normal wine glass but they're really really pretty and for £6 I thought they were an absolute bargain so got myself some wine glasses okay, so next i got some plates and i think these are absolutely stunning i would have got like a whole set of them if i hadn't bought so much but it was just so heavy i thought i can't buy loads of plates and bowls and cups so i just got two of these but i would definitely be going back and getting the whole set and changing my kitchen up because i think these are gorgeous they've got that gorgeous like beige color with the darker 
sort of gold, is it gold? No, it's just like a brown rim and then, you know, brown ridges and it just looks so, so pretty. But yeah, they do have the matching bowls, pasta bowls, um, smaller plates and cups as well. They have like the whole selection. So I'll definitely be going back and grabbing some more of these. Sorry if the angle is slightly different. For some reason, my phone just cut off and I had to redo it, but let's carry on. Next up, I got these wooden spoons and they were on offer for a pound and I actually just got them for the wooden handles. I thought these would look really nice, styled in a crock in the kitchen, but also they're practical. So I just got three of these, probably should have got more, but I'll make it work. So next up, I got this and it's a little bit random. It was in the sale for a pound and I just thought it was a nice little decorative object. You can literally put it anywhere, style it on a coffee table, on some coffee table books or on a shelf or in the kitchen if you're doing like a vignette and you need just a little decorative object. These are always good to just dot around the house. So yeah, I just got this one loved that it was very neutral and different and it was a pound so got this okay moving on to candles and i got this one i've actually heard many good things about this apparently it smells insane i haven't taken the plastic off yet but it's just this vanilla one i love that it comes with the cloche lids and yeah again black gold absolutely love that it goes with my aesthetic perfectly and yeah, again, you can have it on the coffee table, on a shelf. I might have it on my radiator cover. Um, you can have it in the kitchen, bedroom, literally anywhere. Love a good candle. So these are another item that I'm pretty sure everyone has, but I love them. I just think that they look really elegant and obviously feminine and just really sort of sophisticated and yeah i really like these so i'm gonna have one in my dressing room and then one downstairs so when i was looking at these i actually saw a poster and there was a black body with like gold sort of it kind of almost looked like foil i don't know if it was foil but it was like sort of gold splattered over i guess and it looked beautiful so i searched high and low but i couldn't find it so i just stuck with these but i'm definitely going to be keeping my eye out for that because honestly it looks stunning so next up i have this candle this is another one that i'm not going to be burning it is just for decorative purposes probably going to be going in my like tv cabinet i'm not sure what to do with this yet but it's just another simple little decorative object and this was only two pound fifty how much were these ones? Uh, £1.50. This is £2.50 and I don't think you can go wrong with things like this. I just love the rib detail and on the front I just think it's a really pretty piece to have so I love this. And the final thing I picked up is this scented candle. It's actually kind of similar to the big vase that I've got. It's the same kind of colour and it has the same cracked sort of detail in it i think it's really pretty but i actually thought once the candles burn out it's going to make a really pretty pot maybe with um like makeup brushes or something in there but yeah i just think that's really good it was four pound fifty so it was a bit pricier but like i said it's going to make a really nice ornament even when the candles burn out so yeah really like this Okay, so that is everything I picked up from Primark and on my way out, I actually realised there was so much stuff that I forgot to get. I wanted to get makeup brushes, I wanted to get eyelash curlers, I wanted to get makeup remover, like cotton pads, I wanted to get slippers. <laughs> there was so much on my list. I'm honestly like a moth to a flame. If there is a home section, I forget everything else and I just run towards the home section. So I definitely need to go back and pick up a few more bits. So there'll probably be another Primark haul coming soon. But I really hope that you've enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see how I decorate and use all of these pieces within my home. Also leave today's video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys back here in my next one. Bye guys!